Uh, one last far question for you. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. When you hit up Spotify, you know, you think of far being this, you know, emotional and whatnot band and, you know, <laughs> like very deep and all this other stuff. Pony. And the number one track is Pony, yeah. man. What, what, what is up yeah. with that, man? This is a, this is a lesson in when you actually, we're back to your thing about Spotify and stuff. Um, this is a lesson in when you have the goofy idea and you just do it with your buddies and you don't give a shit about it, understand that it might become the most popular thing you ever do. And you're going to have to live with that. Um, right. We did that as a total joke. Um, we were getting back together and we didn't want to even perform under our own name initially. We just wanted to play these weird little shows and kind of spread yeah. the word secretly. MySpace was a thing then. This is back in oh, the yeah. kind of the mid to late aughts. Um, and MySpace had its little music player. And so we, we had a fake MySpace page for our, our fake band name, which was hot little pony. And then we first had just a little MIDI version of, uh, I dig a pony, um, by the Beatles on our MySpace thing. And then we thought, well, we should have a song that we made something. And we thought, Oh, well, how about pony? We've fucking loved that song. And we've always had it on our pre-show kind of soundtrack to kind of get people's head bobbing and just such a fucking groove. Um, and so we thought, let's tackle that one. And, you know, Sean killed it on the production. I mean, it's just ridiculous. And I'm really proud of my singing on it. Singing R&B is no, like anyone who like, like disparages R&B or hip hop or any uh, pop singers, like try singing those songs and then see if you think that it's <laughs> right. still so simple because it's a very precise form. Um, so for me, singing it was very triumph. So I love it musically. And I've always loved that song. And, uh, but the idea that it's easily the most, you know, famous on Spotify thing that we will likely ever do is just so fucking hilarious to me. And at the time <laughs> we were touring, it, we were doing some radio shows because the song was really getting some heat. And I think we were on a show with like Kings of Leon or something in Santa Barbara. And we played our whole set and no one but this tiny little handful of people up at the front had any idea what was going on. They were just like, what is this? horrifying racket coming at us we want we just want to see kings of leon um and then we played pony at the end and everyone yeah, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so it just it's just one of those lessons that like you don't have any control over what people pay attention to about you if someone wanted to like if someone not wanted to but if someone just heard that tune and that was their definition of far that was their definition of me i yeah. have no control over that so like rupaul says what anybody else thinks about me is none of my business um, I just get to make shit. Um, and yeah, but I love that you brought that up. And I think that really speaks to this, the Spotify thing of the world is like, whatever yeah. gets the most streams, that's what you're going to be known for. That's it. And so there you go. You know, it's uh, but it was certainly, it was not on purpose. There's a story <laughs> of something with no promotion behind it getting big. We did not try. I promise you there was no promotion. There was no like, Ooh, we're going to fucking do the alien art farm thing and like do like a cool cover. <laughs> like it was yeah. not our like that was not our desire turns out to be what happened so god bless <laughs> who knows how Too the funny, world man. works